Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. I know it's been a while since our last videos. There's going to be a lot of voiceover in this video because I may or may not have deleted some of the clips on my GoPro by mistake. So it is what it is and here we go, let's go to Oxford. So after my fourth consecutive English breakfast at the St. Pancreas in their beautiful breakfast room, we took the train and headed towards Oxford. Stop number one of the day was visiting the University Church of St. Mary the Virgin. There was an earlier church on this site during the 13th century that the university was already using, but the church was largely rebuilt during the 15th century. What's absolutely incredible is that this church is standing in the very center of Oxford and it is the heart of the oldest university in Britain. Stop number two was Radcliffe Square. It's surrounded by beautiful historic college buildings and you can see one of Oxford's most iconic sites, the Radcliffe Camera, which is actually a science library. Unfortunately, this building was not open to the public. Despite the fog and the cold weather, we spent some time strolling around and exploring the grounds. If you're a big Harry Potter fan, you can actually visit the Bodleian Library because it has the Divinity School as well as the Duke Humphreys Library and they were used as filming locations in a couple of movies. After some walking and more walking through random alleyways, it was time for lunch. We were surprised to find quite a few little Asian restaurants around the university and we settled for this place. It was surprisingly delicious and affordable and most importantly, we needed hot food because buildings in the UK do not seem to be heated very well so it gets cold really fast. And just like that, we were ready to explore the rest of the university campus. So before visiting Oxford, I didn't know that the University of Oxford is actually made up of 39 different colleges. Some of the oldest colleges are for example University College and Merton, some of them are for undergraduates and graduate students, but some of them are dedicated to graduate students only. So for the last stop of the day, we had planned on visiting Christchurch College, and to be honest, this was probably the one I was looking forward to the most. We were under the impression that we could just book our tickets when we got there. However, we didn't know that we had to book a specific time. So unfortunately, we had to come back later in the day. We are now going to the Australian Museum because it is the oldest in the UK and one of the oldest apparently in the world. The Ashmolean Museum was actually founded in 1683. It has a lot of famous collections. Some of its most famous are actually the Egyptian mummies, but it does have artifacts from all around the world. One of my personal favorite was seeing the Messiah, one of Stradivari's violin uh, that remained in his workshop until his death. We also saw some Renoir paintings, which I thought were absolutely beautiful. So finally, we were back at Christchurch College. When buying your tickets, they actually give you an audio guide so you can start your self-guided tour and look at some of the Harry Potter filming locations. So one of the first stops uh, that you will probably recognize again from Harry Potter is the famous Bodley Staircase. And this staircase actually leads to Christ Church Hall, which is another filming location. Then we saw another very famous filming location, which is the Christ Church Great Hall. And this was the inspiration for Hogwarts Dining Hall. Again, this hall was used as an inspiration, but the actual scenes were filmed at the Warner's Bros. studio. So 
So coming out of the hall, we had to take the bully staircase again. And then we were going to visit the beautiful inner courtyard of Christchurch College. It was obviously getting very, very foggy, but we still enjoyed our tour. And the last stop on this tour was the Cloister Garden and the Cloisters of Christchurch College. And if you don't recognize these cloisters, then you may need to watch Harry Potter again. By the time we left the college, the fog was getting worse and it was getting also very cold. So we went to hide at the Westgate Oxford Shopping Centre for a while before we came out again. We were considering going back to London at that time However, we also wanted to listen to the special service for Epiphany and it happened to be at the Cathedral of Christchurch. And that was our last activity in Oxford because we finally went back to London and we were craving for some Chinese food. So we got ourselves some mala hot pot and then went to Trafalgar Square to look at the Chinese New Year preparations. <laughs> <laughs> 